Boyd, saying her hiring was a huge mistake for the university. More on his comments coming up. Plus, we'll track the controversies that have plagued ASU for the last two years. And Tuskegee University is partnering with a major aerospace company to assist in designing the replacement for the space shuttle. Former ASU Board of Trustees member, who was also an attorney hired by the board, has taken to Facebook to blast current ASU President Dr. Gwendolyn Boyd. Donald Watkins was on the Presidential Selection Committee that chose Boyd, but is now saying her selection as ASU President is the university's greatest mistake. Earlier this month, Dr. Boyd distanced herself and the university from Watkins after he made claims of a special relationship the university had with the FBI, claims the FBI said were entirely false. In his Facebook post, Watkins said, In her first 100 days, she's only raised $26,500, a pathetic performance by the university's chief fundraiser. Watkins also said, Apart from lacking the requisite skills to be an effective university president, Dr. Boyd, who is paid a full-time annual salary of $300,000, is actually a part-time executive employee. She works for ASU about four days a week. Watkins was also very vocal on Friday after Governor Robert Bentley removed Marvin Wiggins from the ASU board, saying the governor did not have the authority to do that. We have reached out to President Boyd for a response, but so far we have not heard back. You can read the full Facebook post on WSFA.com, and we'll have much more on this story for you coming up tomorrow. As I was removed from the board by the governor, who cited a conflict of interest and other reasons for booting Wiggins from the board after he refused to resign, Governor Bentley had called for both, uh, for both Wiggins and board chairman Elton Dean to resign. Dean did so on Thursday. The governor replaced Wiggins with Ralph Ruggs, who serves as the executive director of the Tuscaloosa Housing Authority. All of this, just the latest controversy to surround Alabama State University over the last few years, beginning with the ouster of Dr. Boyd's predecessor. WSFA 12 News anchor Sally Pitts takes a look back at the timeline of all the drama and controversy. The controversy began to arise November 26, 2012, when the ASU Board of Trustees placed then-president Joseph Silver on administrative leave, giving few details as to why. Dr. Silver claimed he had stumbled across issues dealing with fraud and conflict of interest. Nothing that should have caused that action today, other than the fact I stepped on a few toes. But right is right, and I'm going to always be on the side of right. A few days later, the board agreed to an independent audit. In late December, Dr. Silver and ASU agreed to cut all ties. The following fall, October 14, 2013, Governor Bentley released the preliminary findings of the forensic audit. Documents showed the family, the board chair Elton Dean and vice chair Judge Marvin Wiggins benefited financially from the university. Both men denied the allegations. I can't say it's full of lies, but uh, I know there are some lies in there. November 19, 2013, the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools called on ASU to provide evidence that its board members did not have any financial interest in the university. The university denied any wrongdoing and sent a binder to Sachs with information ranging from university policies to its own audit report that came back basically clean. Nothing, nothing confirms, it is confirmed about a conflict of interest by the board, by the chairman of the Board of Trustees. A few weeks later, the board named Gwendolyn Boyd president of ASU. She promised changes were coming. Uh, we're going to the next level with Alabama State because this is good ground. This is good soil. April 25th of this year, letters obtained by WSFA 12 News revealed Boyd was not seeing eye to eye with Dean and Wiggins. The letters show that the trustees did not like how President Boyd was handling the ASU restructuring plan. Then this Monday, ASU's SGA president demanded the resignation of Dean and Wiggins. The next day, Governor Bentley called on the men to resign. Students and their education, that's what's important. And it's the public relations. Uh, this would help the public relations. It would help us with SACs. In early July, Moody's Investor Services hit ASU with its third credit downgrade in recent months. Moody cited a recent SACs warning and a weakening financial state for the downgrade. Sally Pitts, WSFA 12 News. And you can read more about ASU in this week's dismissal of Marvin Wiggins and the resignation of Elton Dean and Donald Wiggins' Facebook post right now on WSFA.com.